Let us take another example of a two while loop. This time we are going to do something with timer. So we have a function timer which gives you the current value of time. So if we print in a message box the current value of time, it will give you a, 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 a certain number which would be a time representation uh, in the form of a number. So you don't do not need to worry about it. When you run it again, you will always be getting a new value because time is moving. So uh, and uh, the number is incremented by one every second. So uh, that will give us an advantage. So what, what we are doing to, uh, going to do, let us first uh, declare a variable start and uh, define start as nothing but the current value of time, right? So st start is nothing but current value of time. And we want that, uh, let's say I want to print something here before the timer starts. So what I do is I do, I write a message box or I display something in a message box hello right so this is my first message box which get displayed then I initialize the timer then I put a condition that to while now timer is nothing but the ex, uh, the current value of time so to while timer is less than start plus 5 and then loop now let us see what is happening so let's say in the beginning timer give us a second value of let's say 1 there is a certain time uh, let's say 8 pm and 1 second so it was first second here right because it was a number it was a big number 72000 something uh, for for 8 pm right so now timer is less than start plus 1 in the very next second when it, the the uh, program uh, reaches at this point it will be having the current time here let's say it was 2 seconds and then it will be checking whether that time is less than the starting time plus 5 second or not right so it will stay inside the loop till the condition is true and when the condition is fa failing it will move out of the loop so because we have put a check here that for 5 seconds stay inside the loop because timer is uh, always be less than uh, 5 seconds uh, until it crosses the 5 second it will stay inside the loop right so we do not want to do anything let us say we uh, keep everything blank here. We do not put anything here. And instead of message box, let's say print it on console so that we do not need uh, to click on OK button of the uh, message box. And we actually see what is happening here. So after this, hello, after five seconds, I'm another. I'm printing another message in the uh, console, right? So let us see what happens. It printed hello on console. Now it stay some it stay in uh, execution state uh, for a particular number of seconds. That was five seconds we have mentioned here, and then after five seconds it printed out uh, the next message. Now you have seen that when we run it, the program got stuck here inside the do while loop. We cannot move out of the loop, and we cannot do any other operation on the Excel. So when you uh, are intentionally uh, keeping such thing, so better you use do events which allow you to do other events or perform other actions on the Excel rather than um, keeping it stuck. So you can see here it is still stuck but you cannot see uh, the busy uh, symbol. You can do other operations on the Excel and when the 5 seconds are over it will be displaying the other message. So this is how we can implement timer based things here. You can see the first message was printed here. The second action was taken out after 5 seconds. So if we want to let's say uh, if you have seen our uh, example of uh, plotting a clock uh, using excel vba we have used just couple of uh, no, couple number of number of times so thank you for watching uh, this tutorial uh, stay uh, connected